students already we have seen six classes for anti malarials and in this class we are going to see the newer anti malarial that is called artemisinin and its derivatives now we'll see the next anti malarial that is called as artemisinin it is the newest anti malarial and it is a natural product that is extracted from dry leaves of artemisia annua that is a sweet wormwood it is active against the plasmodium genera that cause malaria its synthetic and semi synthetic derivatives are artemether or tether or artemotil artiflin and artisunate now we will see the structure of artemisinin so look at the structure this one no six member heterocyclic ring having oxygen as the heteroatom that can be called as pyranose so first it is having pyranose and this one we have no so if it is having bond inside that can be called as uh, benzene okay and uh, come to this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if it is a seven membered ring that is having only one heteroatom that is oxygen means that is called as oxypen but it is having two oxygens so two oxygens present in a seven membered heterocyclic ring means that is called dioxypen so if uh, this dioxypen no so that is fused with the benzene means that can be called as benzo dioxypen already we have known this is called as pyranose okay so in the case of benzo dioxypen that benzene no that is having three bonds and dioxypen is having one bond so in the case of benzo dioxypen that is having totally four bonds but here that four bonds will be left that's why already we have known for a bond we have to add two hydrogens here three bonds here one bond so for these four bonds we have to add eight hydrogens that's why it is called as octahedro this is called pyranose no so pyrano uh, benzo dioxypen but here what happens so this is the first carbon so sorry first atom and this is third one this is 12th one this 12th and the third no these two are connected by means of oxygen to form epoxide that's why it is called as epoxy i mean octahedro so this is octahedro epoxy pyrano benzo dioxypen okay so we have to tell only the substituents okay what are they the three methyl groups at third sixth and ninth and having ketone in tenth position so if it is a ketone that should end with o okay and how we are getting the epoxide already the parent is having hydrogen in third position and twelfth position so that two are removed and because to satis because of uh, satisfying the valency of these two carbons that two are connected by means of oxygen that's why we are getting epoxide that's why the chemical name would be octahedro 3 6 9 so three methyls we are having no uh, 3 6 9 trimethyl and how we are getting epoxide by connecting third and 12th that's why 3 12 epoxy 12 h pyrano 1 2 1 benzo dioxypen 10 3 h o so that is the chemical name of artemisinin okay and here in the case of artemisinin that the first ring so this one no that can be called as trioxane because that is having three oxygens here that's why it is called as trioxane and what is trioxane actually it is it is having this o2 so that is it is having endo peroxide and already we have seen this is called as dioxypen this is dioxypen and that is having epoxy that's why it is called dioxypen oxygen so it is having a uh, trioxane so what is trioxane that is having endo peroxide inside otherwise we can tell it is having dioxypen oxygen okay so that's all about the structure of artemisinin in the derivatives of artemisinin r tether is the ethyl ether of artemisinin e ether so ethyl ether of artemisinin and artesunate is hemi succinate of artemisinin sunate so s for succinate okay so hemi succinate of artemisinin and artemether is uh, m ether so it is a methyl ether of artemisinin So now we'll see the structure of artemether. So look at the structure of artemether. Already we have seen it is an artemisinin derivative. So which derivative it is? It is M ether. So it is a methyl ether of artemisinin. Already we have known the structure of artemisinin, same as that of that. But here we have a K 
ketone. So here that ketone is replaced by means of methyl ether that is OCH3. So instead of ketone we have OCH3 means that is called as RT methyl. So that is the structure of RT methyl. So how it is different from artemisinin? So artemisinin is having ketone in this portion. So that ketone is replaced by means of methyl ether. OCH3 means that is called as RT methyl. Next one is artisunate. Already we have known what is artisunate. It is a hemisuccinate of artemisinin. We have known the structure of artemisinin. Artemisinin is having ketone in this portion. But here this is having hemisuccinate. So what is meant by hemisuccinate? Already we have known succinic acid. So what is succinic acid? CH2, CH2, COOH, COOH. So, 2 ends are having COOH and in center we have 2 CH2 that can be called as succinic acid. What is hemisuccinate? This is having succinic acid is having 2 carboxylic acid no. So, 1 is esterified. So, only 1 is esterified means that can be called as semi sorry hemisuccinate ok. So, here we have O C O CH2 CH2 COOH that can be called as artisunate. So, it is a hemisuccinate of artemisinin. Next is mechanism of action of artemisinin. This artemisinin no, they kill the parasites by free radical mechanism not by the generation of reactive oxygen species. Already we have seen reactive oxygen species in 8 amino quinolones but here it kills the parasites only by free radical mechanism that word is very very important how it is killing the parasite by free radical mechanism. Here it is having heme no that is present in the form of hemozoin within the digestive vacuole and that is acting as a source of F2 that is ferrous form ok. So which reacts with the peroxide that is present in the structure no already we have seen endoperoxide. So that one reacts with the peroxide to generate a oxy radical and also Fe3 plus. So ferric ion and also oxy radical is formed. From the oxy radical carbon radical would be formed ok. So, uh, that is lethal to the plasmodium within the erythrocyte. So, that is the mechanism of action of artemisinin. So, what is that? Once again, I will summarize that. So, actually, it is uh, killing the parasite by free radical mechanism. Here, heme no that is present in the form of hemozoin within the digestive vacuole and that is acting as a source of ferrous ion. Okay. And that reacts with the endoperoxide to form oxy radical and ferric ion that is Fe3 plus. From the oxy radical carbon radical would be formed that is lethal to the plasmodium within the erythrocyte. See the combinations used with artemisinin here. The examples are artisunate is combined with phosmidomycin, artemether with lumifantin, amodiaquin with artisunate, chloroquine with artemisinin. Artisunate sulfadoxin with pyrimethamine, artisunate sulfa methoxypyrazin with pyrimethamine, etc. Okay. Uh, that can be totally called as ACT, that is artemisinin based combination therapy, that has a cure rate of 90%. Now we will see the uses of artemisinin. They have gametocidal activity and activity against all asexual stages of the parasite and it is a anti leishmaniasis agent and it is active against schistosomiasis and trypanosomiasis.